When I started working in machine vision, lots of people were developing machine vision systems with cameras using image pickup tubes. Well, those cameras went away fairly quickly and were replaced by CCD sensors. CCD, which stands for Charge Coupled Device, is the most important image sensors we have used in the past for machine vision. This video on cameras for machine vision covers CCD image sensing. We'll be covering how CCD devices transfer photogenerated charge, a characteristic called fill factor and how it impacts image sensing, how microlenses are used on image sensors to enhance the effective fill factor. Our first topic is charge transfer or charge coupling. To begin, we must review the electrical meaning of charge. In electronics, an electron has a negative electrical charge. So whenever we have a group of electrons, we call that the charge packet, or often just the charge. You should recall from the previous video on sensing elements that during exposure, a sensing element accumulates a group of photogenerated electrons. This is the photogenerated charge for the specific sensing element or pixel. Imagine you have a section of P-type semiconductor material covered with a thin insulating layer and having a string of adjacent electrodes on top of the insulator, all at zero volts. If you connect one of the electrodes to a positive voltage, the voltage repels the holes in the p-type material, creating a depletion layer under the electrode. If there is a group of electrons, a negative charge packet present, they will be held in that depletion region. If an adjacent electrode is also made positive, it also generates a depletion region under its electrode. Because the electrodes are close together, the two depletion regions touch. Now the charge can spread out in the joined depletion region. If the first electrode is now returned to zero volts, its depletion region goes away and the charge is pushed or attracted entirely into the second electrode's depletion region. We can say this sequence couples or transfers the charge. By sequencing which electrodes are positive and which are at zero volts, it is possible to move the charge packets along the structure. This is the basis of charge transfer in charge coupled devices. To more closely visualize how the CCD transfer works, realize that every third electrode is connected together. So there are actually only three electrical connections for the CCD shift register. You can see how, by sequencing the three voltages, we can move the charge packets. The structure is called a CCD shift register. You can begin to see how we could use a CCD shift register in an image sensor to move the photogenerated charge from the sensing elements to the output. In this illustration, the array of blue rectangles represents the sensing elements or pixels. There is a vertical CCD shift register shown in yellow by each column of pixels. At the bottom, shown in orange, is a horizontal CCD shift register that accepts the output from the vertical registers and shifts those to the output. This arrangement is called an interline transfer CCD because there are CCD shift registers in between each line or column of pixels. During exposure, each sensing element accumulates charge. At the end of the exposure time, the charge from every pixel is transferred into the vertical CCD shift register. The inner line registers are shifted down until they deposit the first of their charge packets into the horizontal CCD shift register. The horizontal shift register is shifted right to create an output from a corresponding pixel. After the horizontal CCD shift register is emptied, 
the inner line CCD shift registers are shifted down until the next charge packet in each is transferred to the horizontal shift register. This process repeats until the charge packets from all pixels have reached the output. The result is the output receiving the sensing element signal row by row. At the output of the horizontal shift register, there is a charge amplifier that converts a charge to a voltage proportional to the magnitude of the electrical charge. Each charge packet reaching the end of the horizontal register is converted to a voltage. You now know how photogenerated charge packets are moved through the CCD image sensor. This is a good time to look into what impact the CCD circuitry has on the image sensing elements or pixels. Let's move from the whole image sensor and zoom in to individual pixels. Most data sheets tell us the pixel spacing, the distance from one pixel to the next, both horizontally and vertically. This area allocated to a pixel must include not only the photosensitive area, but also any associated circuitry. The CCD shift registers, which are covered with metal to keep them from being light sensitive, require some of the pixel's area. This means that the photosensitive area is only a fraction of the area allocated to a pixel. This is shown in the overlay where the blue square is the area allocated to the pixel and the blue-green L-shaped region is the actual photosensitive area. The ratio of the photosensitive area to the area allocated for the pixel is the fill factor. For an interline CCD device, the fill factor is typically in the range of 30%. In order to compensate for the low fill factor, which reduces sensitivity, many CCD image sensors use an array of micro lenses with one tiny lens over each pixel. The micro lenses are designed to collect light over an area larger than the photosensitive area and concentrate that collected light onto the photosensor. These micro lenses perform well when the light is coming normal to the chip, but perform somewhat less well as the angle moves away from the normal. Now you know that the imaging sensor's readout circuitry reduces the area available for sensing light. That the proportion of actual light gathering area to the pixel's total area is the fill factor and that microlenses are often used to improve sensitivity lost because of a smaller fill factor. This video covered four important topics. How CCD shift registers work, how the CCD interline transfer image sensor works, what fill factor is, and how microlenses are used to compensate for a small fill factor. Now you should watch the next video covering CMOS image sensors.